Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to Go On Overland. Today in this video, I wanna to talk to you about a really important part of the rig, and that's trailer brakes. So guys, we have to figure out how to stop this, you know, several ton pound machine as we're going down the road. So for that, we went with Red Arc. Now guys, I am wearing a Red Arc shirt and hat, but we're not sponsored. I just really like them, so I thought I would take this video and explain to you how my brakes are doing after about 10 months of use. So guys, we're over at Oak Mountain State Park over here in Alabama. I just wanna give you a little shot of what we got going on. You know, it's a great little place. It's tucked into the woods over here. So it kind of feels a bit like home, a bit like Colorado, uh, but something that you're dealing with in all these state parks is a bunch of campers. So we love them, we got some good neighbors, but we don't wanna be that close. Let's head back to the trailer because I wanna talk to you a little bit about the actual trailer brakes before we get into the Red Arc Tow Pro. So we're back here at the trailer, guys, and essentially what you have behind the rims is an electronic brake system. You know, your typical car has brake fluid that's gonna send pressure via brake fluid and stop the truck. But back here, you have electronic brakes. So they operate a little bit differently. Same basic rule, get that rig to stop. So all the Red Arc Tow Pro's job is to do is to send electrical current back here to the brakes. But the cool thing about it is it's gonna send basically the amount of pressure that you want those brakes to have applied in any given moment. So we're gonna get into that a little bit, but let's go over to the rig and show you what that little unit looks like. So in my dash, that's where I mounted it. I actually had an extra little spot for a button and that worked perfect. So I took that out and went ahead and installed that right there. Now, the interesting thing about the Red Arc is it's so small and so compact. If you've looked in old trucks or you've had different brakes in the past, you'll know it's a big thing with the lever that you can actually push to apply more brakes. But this is a little bit of a dial. And so basically I run it about three, three and a half, and it goes up to, let's see, it goes up to 10. So I run it at about three and a half, and that's the pressure I'm looking for. But as you increase it, it's going to apply the brakes much harder. And so I can't imagine what it would be like to have it over there, like six or eight, that would just be intense. If you push the brake, there's a button right in the middle, and that's actually kind of an emergency brake. I've never used it, so I'm not as familiar with that. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have used that a bit more than I have. So now I'm gonna take you under the dash where you can actually see where I have this thing mounted. So you'll notice that red right away, and that is the actual brake thing. So I have a couple adapters in between, but this is all plug and play stuff, guys. So there's the Red Arc Toe Pro. I was able to get some screws and lay on my back in a really weird position and get this thing mounted up in there, but it's working pretty good for me. Uh, I've never kicked it, it's tucked way out of the way, just working really good. And I know it's not really a how-to or DIY install video, but guys, this is so simple. It's just plug and play. You know, something to Red Arc's credit is, I actually bought this because at Go On Overland, we do expos and stuff. So I was doing an expo over in Salt Lake City, and I bought this from a mate and then he sent it out to my house and well, the cord that they had for the adapter from the unit to plug into my truck wasn't the right one. So they went ahead, I think they went to eTrailer.com. They got the cross in between cord. They mailed that out to me as well. And so this thing uh, was all color coded. The only wiring I had to do was because they didn't have one. This is a 2007. At the time they didn't have one. So I used two kind of junction box connectors in there all the colors were like red, white, blue, and black, so they all paired up perfectly. And then you have a little cord coming up to the actual dial. So it's as, it's as easy probably for your newer vehicle to plug it into the car and then find yourself a good little spot to mount that guy. So if you're like me and you're a recovering road rage addict, then you'll understand why I really need trailer brakes. Guys, it's not so much for going downhill on a big mountain and I wanna drive that point home. If you're buying trailer brakes or making sure you have them because you wanna stop on a hill, I get it, that's a last resort, but you gotta learn to use your gears and basically gear down as you're going downhill. What these trailer brakes are really for, especially for me, is traffic areas, cities, maybe someone cuts you off. You know, you gotta be able to stop this rig. This truck is like 6,000 pounds, the campers, like 4,000, then we got a couple thousand pounds 
mixed in between with gear. We have our whole sign business in here. So we got a lot of weight to stop and we got to stop really quick like. So I really depend on Red Arc to get me stopped. And the reason I chose Red Arc is because I've actually been following four wheel drive 24 seven. If you guys haven't checked them out, it's an off-roading channel out of Australia and they're who really got me on the Red Arc. Now I was really looking at a DC to DC charging system first and actually I still haven't got that yet. So hopefully you guys will be seeing that on the channel in the future, but I came across their brakes and now there's a lot of, you know, Reese makes a lot of brake stuff and trailer stuff and there's a lot of good companies out there. But the reason I went with this Red Arc system is because it actually looked really user friendly. Like I said, you can adjust that dial. I found what works for me and you can adjust it and hone it in right where you want it. Now they do have the Red Arc Tow Pro Elite. And what that is, is basically it gives you opportunity to run triples. So I only have two axles. I don't have any trailers that have that. I have a flatbed that has two axles. And at this point, I just don't plan on having anything like that in the near future. So that's why we didn't go that route. I do want to talk real quickly about kind of something that I don't like about the Red Arc brakes at this point. And I don't know if this is going to be the same for the Elite or not, but I'm finding that the dial seems to be loose. Now, I don't know if this is just my specific unit, like maybe I got a slightly malfunctioned unit or if that's all the toe pros, but the way I have it mounted, I'm all but convinced I don't bump it. There's that little spot in my mind where I wonder if my knee bumps it, uh, just based on where I have it. So maybe make sure and put it and mount it in a position where you're not gonna be bumping it. But I found that sometimes I'll get in the truck and I'll be cruising down the road. And next thing I know, I apply the brakes and I just don't feel anything back there. And I look down at my little dial and it's at zero. So I'm not sure in all these 10 months, I haven't figured out quite how that's happening yet. But I would say that that's something that I'm not happy about and I wish that dial, even when you spin it, it does spin really loose. I wish that it was like a harder click. So guys, again, we've had it for 10 months. I've traveled from Colorado to the Pacific Northwest all the way up to the, almost to Canada, out on this huge trip across through Texas, Oklahoma, back to Colorado, through the Rocky Mountains, tons, and then down to Florida, through Georgia and now we're in Alabama and we've just pulled this thing everywhere in the biggest cities, in the smallest towns, in the mountains. We like to get off into the backwoods and find these backcountry campgrounds. We've actually taken this place where some people wouldn't want to take a uh, four wheel drive Jeep to be honest with you. But guys, I'm really happy with how the brakes are performing. Uh, and that's a lot to do with, of course, I have good brakes on the trailer like we talked about before, but I'm really happy with this thing. It's pretty much a set it and go and they're really trusty, you know, other than that little dial issue, uh, I can't speak highly enough about them. So in the future, guys, you're going to be seeing a lot more Red Arc. Like I said, I originally got on the Red Arc because I'm stoked about the dual battery system. You know, they have the Manager 30 and they got a bunch of new gear out. You know, I was looking at just a traditional BCDC, but now they have the Manager 30 and Red Vision and stuff like that. And I think that's gonna fit into our lives really well. So be looking out for more gear. So guys, I hope this video was a little bit helpful for you. If you're considering trailer brakes, uh, definitely give Red Arc a go. You might even consider that Tow Pro Elite. It's just a couple bucks more. I was really happy with the service that Red Arc gave me. We'll see what kind of gear we get on this rig, but I'll tell you, even with that EcoFlow Delta, the Opus and the Vatid, guys, I would really love just to have a system on the rig that we can set it and forget it. So I think eventually you'll see some Red Arc working its way into the veins of this old gal, if not our next camper, but Guys, you know, we're making our way across to Alabama. We're gonna see what kind of content we can come up with over the next couple weeks as we make our way across Mississippi, across Louisiana, into Texas. You should be seeing some stuff coming out of Texas as we make our way west. But guys, make sure and subscribe if you haven't. We'd love for you guys to come along on this journey with us. Uh, a lot of great videos coming out in the future. Hit the bell, that way you get notified when one of those videos come out. A bunch more gear, we're gonna be doing some stuff to the truck. Guys, it's gonna be great. So until the next video, God bless you, get up and go on.